Hello, and welcome to my garden journal video. Hey, everybody. These wow. were some branches from my collard tree that um, were laying on the ground. So I'm going to wash them off real good. I haven't cooked my butternut squash, so I think what I am going to do for dinner, or late lunch today dinner, is... A butternut squash mash with steamed collards and maybe I'll put some fish with that but uh, yeah collards tonight <laughs> I think my husband picked this up this was daisies they, they were doing they were beautiful when he got them and they just sat on his never did anything when I just sat them on the front porch and this is how they look now so see mommy I'm not going to show you because I know you hang out in LA a lot and you need to call me and when you have some time and I have some time we need to get together and go to the garden store and get everything I need so I can transplant that beautiful potted garden you gave me into this roomy pot because it's actually doing very well and I, I want you to see it but I'm not going to show it to you yet I need to hear from you see mommy so here's my baby offspring from the medicinal aloe vera and one of them is my sister's Tamika. One of them is for me. And one of them is for Sea Mommy. So yeah, Sea Mommy, you need to get with me so you can pick yours out. I'll get the big one. <laughs> okay, I can't really get this lid to stay on. It keeps coming off. Luckily. I haven't been getting out here as often as I should, and it rained this week, so it's gotten plenty of water. The tomatoes are strong. I take this sucker down with some strapping tape this time, but only one side, so it'll probably come loose. It's wet, too. But the uh, tomatoes are getting strong. Not quite strong enough to put in the ground, so I'm going to leave it out here a little while longer. The um, zucchini, gone, but I think I got another one coming up over here where is it at this is so hard I think that's it where's that zucchini oh it's next to that I don't know if you can see it yeah that's it right there yeah so this here is some kind of spinach San Marzano's giant tomatoes rainbow tomatoes so I got a lot of planning to do my son came out here today and plant some tomatoes and peppers and spaced them all out so now my room is limited but uh, it's okay I'm just squeeze stuff in all those wonderful collard trees yes they the gift it just keeps on giving Next to that, I still have this old decrepit fire chili plant or whatever it is. It's hot, but chilies are dead. Husband's not doing nothing with it, and I don't touch it because I don't want to get burnt. And then, once again, habaneros. I wish this was something else because it is so wonderful. <laughs> And here's my little prized um, bell peppers, different colors, yet to see one. And you know what this is. You know what this is. Don't you, don't you? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I need a name. I need a name for these cows. I might call it, uh... <laughs> Capable body functions <laughs> by Burpee. 
I don't know. But yeah, the, this one's looking a lot better. And I uh, still got that little piece coming up behind it. So, yeah. I, I pulled out a snail shell out of the bottom of the uh, collard greens. So, there's some slugs in there. I really have to get the um, eggshells going because they are having a field day. And then my wild butternut squash and yellow pear-shaped heirloom tomatoes. Not quite yellow enough. Not qu yellow at all yet. They're all green. and uh, But they're bountiful, bountiful. And uh, my son, he makes this African spaghetti. It's just basically tomatoes and habaneros. I can't eat it, but he loves it. He could eat it every week with some pasta. So um, he said he's going to take these tomatoes and uh, mass produce his sauce and freeze it so whenever he wants it he can make some pasta and be done with it i was like go ahead on maybe i can get rid of them all and uh it won't replant itself <laughs> yeah but the green beans they're still growing they're yellowing and really got to get this these egg uh shells going because they're tearing up my cabbage now, can oh, these some peppers right here. I think he said jalapeno and habanero. Yeah, so he planted that today. Went and bought some stuff. Now, Karen, these tomatoes are not in our Mater Challenge. Jo Jordan planted these today. He felt like he needed to plant some tomatoes. I think he wanted some plum tomatoes. I believe that's what these are. Let's see what they are. Can you see that? I can't see that. Oh, yeah. Roma. Roma tomatoes. There it is. So, he planted them. I wish he would have planted these peppers in this little spot over here. Well, he planted them here, and I was like, well, you should plant them up closer to the front because I want all the tomatoes in the back so they can grow up the wall. So he started planting in the back, and I'm like, you can go back further. So he went back a little further on these. So this is all the space I have for tomatoes, spinach, squash. A squash. I might, I might put the squash or the spinach over there and um, I know this is killing y'all tomatoes go against the wall and whatever else is going in front and rosemary is doing well I did get to trim this side of it of her I'll get to this side next week and the top and we'll have a perfect little rosemary rectangle. Right now, some quarter circle. <laughs> but yeah, rosemary is really abundant. I just cut off of this side today. Look how much I have. This box is full. Of rosemary I'm about to go take me a bath and put as much of it in the water as possible because man it smells good so I'm gonna have to rinse this off real good and rinse off the um, what you call it collard greens real good take it in the house and Bundle it up and wash the greens some more and cut them up. Cook them. Might uh, show you guys my dinner plate tonight. But, uh, mm hmm. 
car got moved a little bit so everything can get a little sun hopefully that's gonna be enough for those tomatoes I know they have to have like six hours or so but yeah <laughs> my videos are so jacked up that I'm gonna stop this and get someone to videotape my full face for the closing so I'll be right back okay so that's it for my garden journal video update this week I want to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel I'm gonna do the usual that everyone does like this video give it a thumbs up favorite it subscribe do all you do and until next time keep pushing